Hi everybody! In my previous video I showed you step-by-step -step how to make a Rochelle salt piezoelectric crystal. Now I'll show you how to test it. Here's my setup for testing a piezoelectric crystal. I simply have my oscilloscope here plugged into the wall and I have a um, scope probe plugged into channel 1 and that's going to my test setup right here. So right down in the middle here is my piezoelectric crystal, this small thing here. It's sandwiched between these two pieces of aluminum foil. Using aluminum, I'm using aluminum foil because it's uh, electrically conductive. And um, these pieces of balsa wood are pushed into the aluminum foil. That's what gives them their shape. And uh, that also gives a nice big surface area on either side of the crystal. And then these two clamps are holding the balsa wood in place on the table. Um, attached to this piece of aluminum foil is the ground clip from the scope probe and attached to this piece of aluminum foil is the other um, clip for the scope probe. So watch what happens when I hit the crystal now. Watch on the scope. So I'll just um, set that to save it now. basically turn on the persist so it'll persist infinitely and I'll try to get a nice uh, readout uh, try to get a nicer one ah, that's a good one okay let me zoom in on that and I'll show you a few things okay, as I said the scope probe is connected to channel 1 and over here on the bottom left, you can see it says CH1 1.00V. That's uh, channel 1, uh, 1 volt. What that means is this display here, which is showing the output of channel 1, um, from here to here is 1 volt, from here to here is 1 volt, from here to here is 1 volt, from here to here is 1 volt. Um, so what that means is if we look at the negative side here, the, the, uh, this dropped down, the voltage went down to negative 2 volts, right? Because we went from 1, 2 volts. Um, and then it rose up to be positive and went from 0, 1, and about a half. So this is about 1.5 volts. So it usually does that if you get a good, nice good hit, um, solid hit, just one solid hit, then uh, it usually goes negative a large amount, then positive less amount, then slowly dampens out. Um, let's see, I'll turn on the cursors here. That way I could actually show a little fine measurement. There we go. So I just moved the cursors and that says that this is in fact 2 volts. It's actually negative because it's below the uh, ground there. And um, I'll raise the cursor up to here and we'll see how big this one is. Alright, so that was about 1.44 volts positive then. So that's a little bit of a scope stuff for you. Here's a larger crystal I made a few years ago. I actually started with a small crystal like the one I was showing you a minute ago. And then I uh, use that as a seed crystal to grow this one. So I'll just put it in the clamp here. Now I'll put it flat on the table first because I want a good, when I hit it, I want it to hit against a solid table. I'll just turn on the persist here so it'll freeze when I hit it. Notice the first spike here is actually negative. Now I'll take the crystal, I'll rotate it. Clear that. Try to get a good one. And notice now that the first spike is positive. So these things are polarized. If you hit them in one direction it'll go one way. If you hit the if you rotate it, hit it again in the same place, it'll go the other way. So one other thing I wanted to mention here, um, this crystal has been pretty banged up over the years. 
Um, so when you actually hit it, it's like hitting multiple crystals at once. And that's why the output here was uh, not as regular as it was with the smaller crystal. You can't get a nice clean single blow with this really because it's like hitting multiple crystals at once. Just thought I'd mention that. Well, thanks for watching. For more videos, be sure to check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org. And if you missed it, see the step-by-step -step video showing how to make your own Rochelle salt crystals. There's also a video there where I used a piezoelectric crystal from a gift card to light an LED by hitting it with raindrops. And the Science and Technology playlist on my YouTube channel has even more neat science videos. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. See you later!